Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to the Brugly channel. I am your host, Brugly, as always. And today in this video, I am going to be talking about Backrooms level negative 69. No, this isn't a joke. This is actually a real level. And this is probably the best written level from the fandom, in my opinion. It's creepy, it's unsettling, it's lonely, and it gives you this liminal thing that's just really weird. You'll see what I mean in a second. I think you all are really gonna enjoy it, so without further ado, let's get into the explanation, shall we? Backrooms level negative 69, or the roads to abyss, is classified as a class 1A obstructive which means that it's safe, has no creatures or entities, but has a very strange abstract environment that could be potentially dangerous. The level also has another nickname, which is the Foggy Avenue, because it looks like a huge, expansive landscape of nothing but metropolitan roads, bridges, overpasses, that kind of stuff, with fog everywhere. So, the Foggy Avenue. The level is kind of laid out similarly to a huge dystopian city, but without the buildings. And it's like this because of how many roads there are that overlap each other, go into the ground, come out of the ground. It just seems so awe-inspiringly big. And that thick layer of fog never leaves the level, and it's really just everywhere at all times. It makes it impossible to see to the sky, so no one knows it's up there. And it also makes it really hard to see far in front of you. I mean, you can hardly even see 10 feet in front of you. And the fog itself can be any color, but the main common colors are orangish or bluish, and sometimes a mix of both. The actual architecture here is pretty weird too, because the roads and the bridges are made out of normal concrete and that kind of stuff from real life, but it's all stiff and foreign looking to humans. It looks almost like a blank slate for something that's not done yet, and there's nothing except roads, signs, stoplights and stop signs and stuff like that, and just this unfinished, unrefined look. On top of all that weird stuff, some of the bridges and overpasses have these really weird geometric metric patterns carved into the sides of them, which leads some people to speculate that this level wasn't created by humans, that it was created by another race of something, like aliens. Some places look like there should be skyscrapers there or some kind of building, but there's nothing, just a huge concrete slab. And there's no buildings at all on this level. There also aren't any vehicles either. Though the entire level is made up out of roads, there's no cars to be on them, which is cool and weird. Most of the actual roads don't have any visible starting point or stopping point, but there are some that pop out of the ground in random places and go straight up or sideways or right back into the ground. It, uh, it's weird. There are also traffic lights, stop signs, yield signs, intersection signs, and stuff like that placed in extremely random locations as well, and some of the lights aren't even at street corners or intersections, and they're just placed in the middle of the road randomly where there wouldn't even need to be a stop sign or stop light. So it makes us all question, what are the purposes of these lights, and why are they randomly placed? Some of the roads are looping and twirling, they almost look like roller coasters, which just adds to the confusion of trying to map out this level, but because unlike in normal real life cities, where the roads are laid out in grid patterns or similarly recognizable patterns, this level has no pattern. There is no method to this level, it's completely random and you can't even map it out or understand it because there's no usable geometry to do it with. Some think that in the past there might have been a group of people that lived here but fled for some reason, which leaves the level with this sort of post-apocalyptic feel. But that might not be true because there's not any graffiti or anything like that here, or marks in general. In fact, there's not even any chips in the concrete, no potholes, no chunks missing, no weathering of any kind. It doesn't exist here. And since nothing is broken or chipped, and none of the concrete looks sunbaked or broken whatsoever, the level is thought to be maybe invincible to time. Time might not affect stuff here. And the level is also constantly nighttime, so that'll help with not fading things away. The level also has some other anomalous features, which I'm about to get into. 
The first one is that it is impossible for two people to be sent to the same spot here at the same time. So if you and a friend no clip from a different level to try to get here, you will not end up in the same spot. Even if you no clipped from the same spot, you'll be sent to opposite sides of this level and this level is infinite so there's no point in finding them. The next anomalous feature is that fog that I talked about. It's the main anomaly here, well, because it's always there, and because it can change completely in color depending on where you are in the level. You could be in one section and it could be blue, and then 600 feet over, it could be orange. It all depends. The fog also induces this feeling of paranoia and anxiousness, and it makes you feel like you're being watched, because you can't really see into it or see past it, so you never know what's lurking in there looking at you. And those feelings of paranoia and stuff like that are amplified when the level starts to randomly play all the music throughout its streets. Yes, that's right. The third anomaly is this random music that comes out of nowhere just when the wanderer is at their most paranoid point. That's when it starts, is when you're getting real paranoid. And that just pushes you right over the edge to insanity, I would say. And these next two anomalies that are the last ones add a really strange level of creepiness to this level. The first one is called the Upside down no not stranger things and the other one is called the lights so this upside down is an anomaly where randomly the entire level inverts itself into two halves one half's on the ground and one is in the sky both versions have a gravity field and they can both be walked on if you can somehow get up there but after a few minutes the upside down anomaly will just disintegrate and leave anyone who is up there at the top falling into the void now that's really tough isn't it the last anomaly is the lights, and they look like these sparkling fireworks in the sky. Uh, the cause for them isn't known, and they only happen a few times a year, but uh, no one knows anything about them. So there's not much to say. There are no outposts here, and to enter this level, you can come from the regular level 69, which is just a huge straight road with concrete walls on each side, and to exit, you can get up in the upside down part at the top and fall down into the void to maybe be sent out, we don't know. Or out of nowhere, this level can send you out with no warning to level 413. No one knows how this happens or where it happens or why, it just does, and you can just be randomly sent there. That's pretty neat. So that is it for this level. I do hope you enjoyed it. I really liked how liminal and eerie this was, and it was written in probably the best format that I've seen on the fandom. So if you want to see it, link below as always. Go check it out. I thought it was great. Anyways, thank you for watching and supporting. Thank you for watching to the end. Thank you for everything. I, I just really appreciate you all. I love you all. You are the best. Thank you so much for giving me to 400k, guys. I mean, we're on the way to 500k now where I'm going to be buying the full backrooms outfit. You know the deal. Help me sub. Show me your friends, your family, your dog, your cat, your fish. Everything you have. Share the channel. Let's get to 500k. Let's do this together. It's going to be great. Also, make sure to go check out Toogly for some absolute banger content like reactions to Backrooms found footage. Yeah, I'm doing that now. And gameplay with my friends and fans and much more. That channel is just going crazy right now. I mean, I'm uploading like four times a week. <laughs> wow. Thank you for everything. Thank you so much. That is it from me. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.